I will be walking you through a typical Saxon math lesson in our homeschool. This particular illustration uses the Saxon 5-4 third edition. It's important to note that I purchased the student book. I also purchased the tests and worksheets and the solutions manual. Every lesson is approached in exactly the same way. If you read the introduction in Saxon, the publishers are very specific about how you should complete a lesson. I recommend reading this thoroughly and do not deviate from it. It's been our experience that if you stick with exactly what the authors of the book suggest, you will have the most success. Let's use a sample lesson here. Here's lesson 14. The warm-up section usually takes us about 15 minutes. You'll notice that the very first thing it wants you to do is fax practice. What we do is we get out our fax practice book and I'll show it to you up here. This one's already been completed. This is 100 edition fax. I set the timer. My son completes his 100 edition fax and then we grade it. A nice feature that Saxon has is in the back of the book. Let me flip to it for you. You can record every single fax practice that you have. My son really likes seeing his progress and he likes seeing uh, the fact that his time is getting better with each and every lesson. There's a fax practice with every single Saxon lesson. After the fax practice, we go on to the mental math. The mental math is just that. It's something your children do in their heads, and they do it as quickly as they can. And after a while, they start, start learning strategies for this mental math that will really, really help them as they get older. My son reads out the answers to the mental math problems to me. We go over any difficulties that he's had. And then in this particular lesson, there's patterns. And in this lesson, it has been dealing with patterns of fours, and they ask them to fill in a, num a number chart. So we go back to the hundreds number chart right here, and you can see that he's filled in all the multiples of four. So like I say, all of this warm-up takes... Mm, 15 minutes, maybe sometimes less, sometimes more. Then we go on to the new concepts. I read through the entire lesson to my son, and then we go on, and he completes the lesson practice in his notebook. You'll see the lesson practice, there's A through F, or here, I'm sorry, it's A through H, and I will sit with him and we sometimes work through these together and then he completes the mixed practice problem set. Generally there's about 25 or 26 of these. He completes all of these in his notebook. Once he has finished them, I grade them immediately. We correct any that he's missed and I record his grade. Like I say, it is this way every single week, every single week, but yet there is something very comforting about this repetition for the children. So that is what a typical daily lesson for us looks like in Saxon Homeschool Math 5-4 third edition.